Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So the king of unbothered, Mr. Omarion himself, honey, interviewed with Big Boy and Big Boy's radio the other day. And I'm not going to lie, Omarion is just a breath of fresh air. You really don't hear much drama around his name. No stories about random women being pregnant by him. He's really just a chill dude. So much so that after the drama surrounded him and his ex and the mother of his children, April Jones, getting it in with his ex bandmate, Lil Fizz, you didn't hear much from Omarion. He smiled through it all and always claimed that he felt no ways. When that whole situation became public, how did you feel about it? Um, I, I don't feel no ways. I don't feel I don't feel any way about it. Now, if you followed my channel before on this Omarion, April, and Lil Fizz comment, then you'll know that in my previous videos, we've all debated in the comment section surrounding this topic. Some of you told me that Omarion is just being a Scorpio and that's how Scorpios roll. Others of you told me that he's being very tactful with his plans. I communicated with O not too long ago. You did? Yeah, and I mean, he expressed, you know, some of the issues that he had. So it's not like he just, you know, out here with no reason for his movement. He just don't choose to tell everybody how he feel about it. So if you've been living under a rock, Omarion, formerly of B2K, previously dated April Jones and they had two kids together. Then they ultimately broke up. Since then, she ended up dating Lil Fizz and they kept it under wraps and Omarion found out about it when his group came back together and did the Millennium Tour. Take a listen to this. Of, you know, I don't know. You know oh, what I mean? And oh, I do want to go in a little bit, you mm-hmm. know, respectfully. Yeah. How old were you and Fizz when y'all first, like, met? Like, how long y'all been homies? Um, I want to say I was 14. 14. Yeah, so was- we're saying about 20, 20 years easy. 20 years in, in and out all right in, in and out and then there's also we think you're everybody all close and yeah, people, no, you know what i'm saying no, no. so were you finishing out the millennium tour were y'all on tour together when things were going on with yeah with yeah how did you find out something was going on with your baby's mother and fizz well uh <laughs> well well I kind of i kind of got a birdie you know what i mean a birdie just kind of floated the info mm-hmm. to me and that was kind of it but i want to be clear though you know um what me and what me and april had is what me and april had you know and we created something really beautiful and we gave something you know truly beautiful to each other you know i'm saying that's really irreplaceable so at the end of the day even though i have public issues you know i'm saying i wish no ill intent or malice towards anyone Mm -hmm. you know um and i believe that bro yeah yeah is it crazy when people are make you f- or try to put their own feelings on it and say like yeah. you should feel this way though? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? It, especially because you know um, people assume that nothing's being done. You right. know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> Child, that smile that Omarion just did. I'm telling you, I'm not ever messing with a Scorpio. Omarion saying that people are thinking that nothing is being done proves to me that the unbothered king is human, just like the rest of us. He gets bothered. He's just calculated in the moves and how he gets you back. Now, one way in which he poked back at April and Fizz is that he requested a judge ban Fizz from being around he and April's kids. And from what I hear, the order was granted. The second thing he did was not only kick fizz but the rest of the group off of the next millennium tour messing up everybody's bag but the gag is he announced the tour on fizz's birthday right oh, that's a weird one well, i mean and then fast forward to like november november 26 which was fizz's birthday mm-hmm. of last year mm-hmm. and omarion announces a new tour which you guys are not involved in mm. The Millennium Tour 2020 with Omarion and Bow Wow with Grammy Award winner Ashanti all coming to a city near you. Do you think that was a shot? Do you think that obviously the, the internet went crazy and mm. we're all we're all suspecting that? How's that tour? How's that tour doing? We have no idea. I don't. I don't know. Has, I, well, <laughs> was that a shot there? How is that tour doing? I mean. 
<clears throat> that was my contact. Right. And my investor. So I'm still got my hands in things. Um, I don't know. It may it look it, it looked pretty good. I called I called a, a Mars manager and I was like, that's pretty funny. They say they didn't plan that, but Amari is a is a pretty smart guy. Mm. You know, so I don't know. That's that that's their story. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought the shit was funny. Did you <laughs> you didn't feel a, you, <laughs> you didn't feel a way about it at all? No, nah, because I mean I'm pretty sure Amari I'm pretty sure Amari didn't he didn't even want to really really do that tour. But you want to get your bag up though, right? Right. You know, so um, who knows? Mm. I, I I don't know. I mean, but I will tell you this: I will never let B Two K die. So I got something to mind. At sleep. any point during the the tour, was there talk about new music? Yeah, that was me t- telling Amari. <laughs> I'm like, yo, oh, what's up? He's like, I will take you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you were the only one he would take. I'm spilling all. I'm spilling all the beans. Yeah, I'm spilling it's all fine. the beans. We, we like we've watched it, it on de- various different Instagram pages, and we've even watched it on Love and Hip Hop. Right? Did uh, do you feel like was it uncomfortable for you being in the group mm. and seeing what was going on between Little Fizz and April, who is the mother of Amarian's children? Yeah, that whole thing is just that whole thing right there in itself is like. I don't know what the hell that is. I think it's... I don't know what the hell that was. Right. I don't know if that was Mona Scott and just them TV. You know oh, what I'm so saying? you don't even believe it to be a real thing? I mean, I don't know what it is. Okay. Because I, 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 I stayed away from it, but it did... It, it, I mean... Did there I, was something I, near. There was a lot going on that I didn't know about, but I know those two particular guys, since we were kids... Yeah. It was always something with some girl. Fighting over a girl. Yeah, or, okay. and then I remember Fizz got his solo deal first, and then he got into his solo album, and Mar got... They, they always... You two always had something. I don't know what that so is. So you think there's like a competition thing? With them? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Fizz... I don't know. Maybe Fizz wants to be a Marion. Maybe he wants to be... I don't, I don't know. I'm not taking shots at my boy. Mm. Maybe he wants to be number one. I don't I don't know. Yeah. All right, so I really can't really speak on it, but, but I, you know, I just me, mean to- me personally, that's too, that's a situation, that's a that's a touchy situation. I don't care if somebody put a billion dollars in my face, I'm just not touching that. Yeah, because it's just it's not you know. And people want to blame her or people want to blame him for fucking up the bag. That's not that's not the case. There was eternal issues that's been going on since we were kids that I felt like now that certain elements and certain management and past management out the way, how do we come together as brothers and really deal with it? Mm-hmm. And if there's really no love there, then, it, then which I know there is, then okay, cool. So I don't really know. Right. Now we all know that the group had internal issues going on. However, like your boy Jay Book said, Fizz messing around with April probably accounted for about 99% of why the group is where they are now. It's a great year. We got some things going on. And uh Fizzle Pop ruined everything. Um, I wouldn't say he ruined everything, but about ninety nine percent of it though. Um January, February, March, April. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. fuck out of here, nigga. Ah. <laughs> I'm done with all you niggas. Like I said, a lot of us felt that Omarion was really unbothered. However, Omarion was and probably still is trying to get his get back, but unfortunately, it affects the bags of the entire group and not just Fizz. Now, word on the curb is that Fizz and April have allegedly broken up, but Fizz baby mama Moniz claims that that is all just cap and the two are still together despite the rumors. Child, this is just too much to deal with. What I need you guys to do is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about Omarion being unbothered but still laughing, honey. Let you know that there are things happening behind the scene. Also, what do you think about Raz B interview? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, in this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.